Hello YouTube, you know what time it is. It's time for another reaction video. This time I'm going to be watching this new animated short uh, that I believe is about Akron, Black Swan, or something along those lines. I saw like a little, I didn't see, I, I saw like a little, I saw other thumbnails and clips and things along those lines, but, but I haven't really watched it myself yet. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm excited for Akron. I'm probably going to end up pulling for her on my free-to-play account that I've started. Um... I don't really need her on my main, but I might still pull her on my main. Maybe we can go wine launch or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. I'm, I'm, from everything I've seen of her kit and her style, her character, and stuff like that, she's, I'm super excited for her, but I don't need her, if that makes sense. So we'll see what happens. Let's watch this. Let's watch this animated short. Let's see what's going on with, with Hoyovers. The remembrance is no different than the sea. Never gaze upon its surface on a starless night. Waiting for someone. <laughs> then, how about a dance? Her voice is amazing. My gaze has lingered on her for quite a while, and tonight I initiate our first engagement. A galaxy ranger, as mysterious as the rumors suggest. A blend of nobility and reticence, yet in this... Okay, all right. Cool. I, you know, I know Honkai, uh, Honkai games apparently have, uh, people, uh, I hope they say it ironically, a lesbian agenda, but, uh, okay, sure. Yeah, no, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. The ranger is not the only one who hunts. At this distance, you're more enchanting than you seem. It's actually really well animated. Without a doubt, she seeks the watchmaker's legacy. In this game, everyone lies. Black Swan being very forward here. <laughs> Just keeps on getting better, doesn't it? Everyone has a past. And the past shapes the present. Some people hold on to memories, while others are haunted by them, unable to escape. That is why I took action. She's a smug. I want to know what she is. Many were drawn to this feast. The IPC, the Garden of Recollection, Fools, the Nameless, and the Annihilation Gang. They should have been present, but Duke Inferno is dead. He and his children won't be attending. What have you done? Beautiful ranger. Excuse me. Are you asking me? Damn. Damn, that got... That got really tense, really... What the fuck? This imagery, what the fuck is going on? Holy crap! Oh my god! Holy shit! There's just like, oh, okay. I. Have... All right, continue, continue. God, there's still so much of this. Holy crap! It's, it's like, so I want to say, it's almost like they're. Wow, that is that is an image. It's almost like they are, like they're at that point. It's like, um, Akron like awakens, 
sees that something is going on and then starts like attacking almost it feels like and starts just shredding her basically but black swan keeps reforming because memories or something along those lines but i don't know that's 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 crazy What the fuck? What kind of... What the fuck am I watching? I think Black Swan may have chewed off more than, uh, more than she could handle with that one. Who are... the Annihilation Gang? <laughs> Ooh, I like that. I like that. I was like, uh, what was I doing again? <laughs> oh, <laughs> she's crazy. She's fucking crazy. I can't wait. God damn it. I want her now. <laughs> My gaze has lingered on her for quite a while. And tonight is our final engagement. A galaxy ranger. No, I've made a grave mistake. Yeah. Everyone has a past. But for some, their past is a silent abyss filled with those who drowned in it. You know what's crazy about this? So I I talk about this, I talked about this in my Pentaconi reaction story, right? Pentaconi's story is a 1920s detective noir murder mystery. That's literally it's it just is what it is, right? This setting for this video fits that so well because right, it's it's that classic black and white. Someone is sitting alone at a bar or something along those lines, drinking a martini or something along those lines is what it looked like. Um, and either a mis either it's either a woman or a mysterious woman comes up to a, usually a guy in these scenarios because you know say it's in the nineteen twenties. Um, in this case, it's fine, obviously two women. Uh, but anyways, a character comes up to another character in these scenarios and asks them like deep questions or because they're and one of them turns out to either be the murderer or the detective or something along those lines and i feel like black swan definitely plays the role of the detective in this scenario um and um then you have like certain like tropes of like lady in red or 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 things along those lines right and i feel like i feel like acheron is a red herring if that makes sense right yeah, she is an emanator of nihility. She is de literally death walking, um, but she's not the one killing everything, right? Like she's she's a problem. She is dangerous, but and there is a reason she is here. But she's probably not like the overarching villain of the scenario. I don't I don't know. I don't think Adventuring is either. I have a feeling that the murder monster is going to end up having been released or something along those lines by. The family, like it's gonna be the family that actually caused their own problem. I have a feeling it's not gonna be. It could, it could end up being Black Swan. I don't think so. I think Black Swan is the the storyteller, right? Is the reporter actually? Yeah, that also works as well in in this nineteen twenties like noir drama style of showing here, right? Is like she is the reporter getting in over her head when when confronting different uh be uh people that are part of this murder mystery, right? She has her own biases and all this other stuff, but you know. Annihilation Gang. Annihilation Gang. Oh, those guys. <laughs> I I love her. Like, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I did that. <laughs> like, like it's such a. <laughs> Oh, God, I oh man, she's uh she's fantastic. I I this also made me like Black Swan even more too. Like there's this this dance routine by the way. This anim is, is I feel like I'm not an animator, but and I don't know anything about dance or animation and stuff like that. There are parts where it looks a little too um too loose, but at the same time I think it fits with the animation style, this the art style. You're more enchanting than you seem. And a dance is like a fight, or it can be in certain scenarios. And, and I definitely feel I feel that vibe here. And, you know, who doesn't want to watch two sexy ladies dancing like this? I'm just saying. Um, 
but it's just very well done. I wonder, I'm curious, I would really like, uh, they don't, Hoyo Earth doesn't usually do these, but Blizzard used to do them a lot, um, at least in like uh, collector's editions and stuff like that. I would love to see the behind the scenes, like from the studio, how they animated a lot of this, right? Like we want to see how, like, did they have, uh, I don't think they had mocap, obviously, but who did they watch, like, the dancers that they brought in to get certain angles and stuff like that? Because usually when animators do these sorts of things, we as the audience may not care about all that stuff or even notice it, but it's always fascinating the lengths that they go to to animate these sorts of things, right? It's, 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 it's cool. She seeks the watchmaker's legacy. In this game, everyone lies. I like that shot. I was like, ah, how do you? <laughs> like a little too forward, right? And I like like the quick snap back and then the grab back. I don't know. There's just it's 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 interesting. It's interesting. The kind of throwing keeps throwing her off. One thing I like too is they never forget details on the character. Like, as an example, Acheron's uh, tattoo on her leg is always there, right? Like they don't like they don't ever forget that it's there. And sometimes that can happen in animation. I've I've like even in per like in professional, but in like more I guess higher production animes or anime, animes, anime that I have watched before or animated things that I've watched before, there will sometimes be like an inconsistency. The biggest example I could think of is in one shot a character will be wearing like socks or something, and then the next shot they don't have socks or something along those lines, right? And then the shot immediately after that the socks are back. So it's like it's it all depends on where the panel was, right? I don't know. It's just an example. I also have no idea which style of dance this is. I don't know. It's it it's I don't know if it's like a tango or something along those lines. But all I know is it's very spicy. Doesn't it? Everyone has a past. I don't think it's a waltz. The the it's too fast for a waltz, perhaps. Some people I don't know. hold on to memories. It might be. The sharp the sharp jerks I movements and stops kind of make me think of a spins like thing of a tango. But I, I, I like how smug Black Swan is here, but then as you get through the video, she's like, she, is. she realizes she went too far, right? She over, she overplayed her hand. Many were drawn to this feast. The IPC, the Garden of Recollection. I like how she's not even looking at her. Fools, the Nameless, and the Annihilation Gang. They should have been present, but always hear the movements. Duke Inferno is dead. He and his children won't be attending. What have you done? I think when she realizes she's not a ranger, also. Right, because she's not a galaxy ranger. Right? She is she is an emanator of nihility, and if I remember correctly, then the galaxy rangers are uh of the hunt. Uh, with that said, we know we're getting Boot Hill, I think is his name, soon, and he is a Galaxy Ranger, so maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe Boot Hill is about to show up to, like, try to apprehend, you know, the sheriff coming to town, try to apprehend, you know, uh, an imposter ranger or something along those lines. I don't know. Or maybe she is actually a ranger. I don't think we really know. They keep saying that. But... Yeah, this switch here. This, like, I love this switch. This like I don't know. Uh, I want to say Bakar, but that is not the word I want to use. It's uh, it's just there is the tone shift here is like heavy, very heavy. The music change, we wouldn't even notice that. The shadows, everything. The I like the the you know the birds, all the bird motifs for you know death and all that. You can't escape. You are now drowning. You. She's looked. She's. She literally stared into the abyss. Right. The abyss. Her eyes. Right. Uh, Nihility. The endless void. Um. And. Uh. Yeah. And the abyss will stare back right at you. These visuals are nuts. Like a snake getting a bird. Like you have literally in the background, you see the snake attacking and killing a bird. And if in this scenario that she is the snake. Right? 
pet imagery is insane. All comes to a natural predator. Yeah, like literally, that's the, I love. I love this imagery of like Acheron is this like is a predator is like just wait like waiting around. I guess you could say ready to ready to strike at any moment. Something within maybe. Then something that is, it's so interesting because it's its something that's never had to really like, uh, with, the, with the shark imagery, I think of something that's never had to evolve with the spider. I think of the the the, the creeping fear uh, of the unknown, right? I don't know. It just, there's this, this invokes so many different emotions at the same time. It's drawn so well too. Yeah, pack of wolves. School of fish running for shark. A spider wrapping up. Like that's, that's, that's where it is. Inevitable death. I get like I I that is the vibe that I'm getting, and I'm hoping that is like the vibe they're trying to push off here because that's what it feels like. It feels like no matter what you do, they're the endless void, the end of everything, right? Um, or that all things will come to an end. Um, it's it's very interesting. It's very fascinating. It's very fascinating to me because like I love I love stories that involve. Um, honestly, what got me into uh. Uh, stories that involve the concept of nihilism or nihility or that all things will come to an end no matter what you do, etc. It's there's no point in doing anything, so why bother or whatever. Um, which is the more of the nihilism like belief, less than like the concept, I guess. Um was Final Fantasy XIV's uh story, actually. because uh, it delves into that a little bit. Like Black Swan is losing herself in 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 this, right? And what's crazy to me is, I think I don't think I don't know if Black Black Swan and I blink is a, the leader of one of the Remembrance like hubs or something along those lines. I don't know if she's an emanator. I love the power scaling always matters to me in these sorts of things because it, it it's important, right? So her getting lost in in uh in her. My problem with this trailer though is that is Black Swan dead? Did Black Swan, did she just kill Black Swan? Because last time we saw a trailer of a character, uh, I'm just saying, we saw Annihilation Gang, they did all their thing, and then they were dead on arrival, and now this is kind of happening off-screen kind of situation. Maybe maybe Black Swan will be dead in the story now, too. I don't know. She's a lot more powerful than, than, than like, say, Sparkle or something along those lines. But when we get the power scaling here, that clearly, you know, she's a problem. And now that I think about it, I don't remember seeing Black Swan in any of the trailers. I'll have to read back. I'll have to look back over the trailers for uh, 2.1. They don't. I know Honkai's not scared to kill characters. Look at her. She's so stressed. Like, what the fuck was that? That was a trip. She thought she was in. She thought she was in control, right? She thought she was in control of the situation. She thought she was delving in these memories and, and appearances and all that stuff, and just got completely blindsided. Who are? That's a shot. That is a shot. The Annihilation Gang. I love her voice, too. My gaze had Absolutely insane. Absolutely crazy. I don't need to watch the rest part of it again. But it was... That was... That was... Oh. Those guys. Yeah. Yeah. I want... I, it would be really funny if it was, like, an accident. Like, like they fucked with her and they found out, right? <laughs> they fucked around and found out. So... Um, yeah, I think that's gonna be it for my reaction here. I don't really have much to say. I, I already really said it. I'm... I don't want to. I don't want to do it. I don't, I don't. They're about to do a reset for um for uh the top up stuff as well. They're giving us thirty pulls. I mean, I oh, it's so hard. It's it's gonna be so hard not to pull for her. It, it. I ended up pulling for Black Swan, even though I didn't really want to, even though she really helped my Kafka team. I genuinely do. I genuinely do not need Akron, right? I have Dill E two. I've got Kafka E four. I've got Black Swan, E1, I've got my Sparkle, I've got my two teams that literally, I have my Dot team and I have my Dill team. They can literally clear, you know, each side of MOC, pure fiction, doesn't matter, on auto, full points and everything, right? Like, it's not a, it's not a thing anymore. I literally have no desire to, like, over, over invest in the account, I guess you could say, because after a certain point, you just don't need, you just don't need to, right? You're just not really wasting money, it's just, you just don't need to, uh, which is why I kind of started the free-to-play account. Because it was just be a different different aspect. Um, 
yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I pull for it. If I pull for it, you'll see a video on it. And uh, if you like this type of content and you want to see more of it, please leave a like and subscribe. We just hit about 700 subscribers. We're on our way to 1,000. Help me get there before the end of the year. Hopefully I can get there before the end of the year. Uh, probably, hopefully by June. Um, so, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Later.